It's winter, it's raining, and you want to ride your electric scooter. We've used exclusive new data from ESG Labs and over 20 years of our own all-weather commuting experience. To select the best scooter to ride in the rain, you need a scooter with an IP rating, great wet traction, large pneumatic tires for stability and control, rear wheel drive for traction while accelerating, fender protection so you don't end up with a racing stripe, and good deck grip to keep you and the scooter going in the same direction. So let's count down the five best electric scooters for riding in the rain. Number five, Fido. The Fido Q1S is a seated scooter that's always ready to go to the store, rain or shine. No backpack required. With our favorite twist grip and ultra smooth acceleration, the Fido has the easiest throttle to control in the rain. Low seating position and large diameter tires give it a confidence inspiring ride. However, it scored lowest of the group for wet traction, resulting in the longest wet stopping distance. One thing the Fido is lacking for foul weather is a rear light, but since most scooter taillights are mounted down low, we would recommend adding a high mounted red light to the back of your helmet, no matter which scooter you end up choosing for the rain. Number four, Cabo Wolf Warrior. When people think of a scooter for bad riding conditions like water, dirt, mud, or a post-apocalyptic world, they think Wolf Warrior. And it's no wonder. It looks like a dirt bike and a Jeep had a baby and rides just how it looks. Its burly hydraulic suspension is best in class and keeps it glued to the road. It's got the brightest headlights of any scooter we've ever tested, so you can see where you're going in the rain and ample deck lighting means you'll also be seen. When the rain starts, you'll definitely want to select rear wheel drive and eco mode. Once you do, this wolf keeps calm and carries on. The enormous 2100 watt hour battery delivers long range. However, the fender protection comes up more than a little short. We recommend extending the fenders for all weather riding. Number three. Apollo Explore. Two standout features set Apollo apart from similar scooters, an IP54 water resistance rating and an outstanding 24 month warranty. Before you get too excited about the warranty, it's important to know that in spite of having IP ratings, no scooter on the market includes warranty coverage for water damage, so steer clear of deep puddles. The Explore scored top marks for tire traction and emergency braking in the wet though it also required the most finesse to keep the rear wheel going in the same direction as the front. The Explorer has an enormous patterned grip tape deck, which took first place for deck traction and has excellent stem and deck lighting to help you be seen. Number two, E-Move Cruiser. The Cruiser is the world's most famous wet weather commuter due to its IPX6 water resistance rating. Aside from being the only scooter on the list to include turn signals, Pluses for the Cruiser include over 50 miles of range and flat resistant tubeless tires to keep you from doing the walk of shame home in the rain. Its long wheelbase and excellent fender protection give it a stable, comfortable ride in the rain. The deck is roomy and scored second place in traction tests, but you do need to watch your footing near the smooth, beveled edges. We highly recommend adding more grip tape at the edges if you're planning to commute in the rain. Number one, the Segway Ninebot Max. The Segway Ninebot Max is known for being the most durable scooter on the planet. In addition to protecting itself from the weather, the Max keeps the rider dry and safe by having the best fender protection, as well as the best brake configuration for predictable, powerful, wet weather braking. An easy to control front drum brake and electronic ABS rear brake yield effortless emergency stopping power. While the Max's rubber foot grip doesn't provide the ultimate traction of grip tape, it still makes the rider feel sure-footed, providing the same level of grip whether wet or dry. In fact, the Max astonished us, matching each of its dry performance numbers in the wet. It's also confidence inspiring, knowing that the sharing market has been operating thousands upon thousands of Ninebot Max variants, rain or shine, for years now. IPX5 rated Ninebot Max is also our clear winner for best scooter to ride in the rain. No matter which scooter you choose to ride in the rain, we still think it beats driving. Find links to reviews and ESG data for all of our top five scooters in the video description.
This is Chuck with Electric Scooter Guide, and until next time, ride safe, stay dry, and don't forget to wear your helmet. For a deep discussion with tips on how to ride in the rain, check out the Great Winter Riding Show, ESG Live Show number 66. And to see how the Segway Ninebot Max performs, check out our recent review of the G30 LP.